Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you the operation or the lowering and hoisting of operation of the HIPAP. HIPAP, H I P A P. Uh, the full form is High Precision Acoustic Positioning System. So, very soon we are going to lower it and I will record it and show you now. So this is the valve they are opening, after opening the valve, this is the arrangement, here inside this there will be a transducer which will be lowered and this is the lowering arrangement. This is the lowering arrangement, so this goes down, goes down here inside and there is a transducer which will be lowered. So right now they are opening the valve. If you can see those wirings, this wiring is for the interlock. Unless the valve is completely open, HIPAP will not operate. Similarly, here there is one limit switch. This is the limit switch for lower most possible position. Similarly, there is one more. I'll show you when I go up for the upper limit. This is the switch which is in stop, and I'm going to use the control to remove to the bridge. You guys see, this is the lowering operation in progress yes go ahead it lowering now yes it is lowering go ahead continue this is the limit switch for upper limit which come in is lowering Now I am at the lower deck and you can see this lower deck, here is the limit switch. Bridge come in. Yeah, it has reached lower limit. Okay, point lower, okay. Now we can see those two blue color clearly, Th those are the two limit switches, one for closed position, other one is for the open position. Until and unless the valve is completely open, we cannot operate this HIPAP. So this was the HIPAP lowering operation, now vessel is going into ROV operations. So this uh, HIPAP transducer has been lowered and ROV operations have started. So this is all about this HIPAP lowering operation. See you in the next video. Thank you. All the best. Be safe. Have a look at this. This is a transceiver for the HIPAP unit. As you saw that HIPAP is lowered down. It will take all the signals from there. Mechanical, computer and electrical, electronic signals. It will be processed in this computer, there are 8 channels, it will be processed and this will be sent to the VLOS where all the data will be available. This is the transmissive box for uh, iPad, which has been put off and I will go to all the channels. Power supply to inspect it on the back side because we are not using problem. And the alarm first some of the boards was the problem, then the defective boards were put on the left side, the right side are on the roof, there is no alarm. But now there is an alarm of power supply. If the power supply is here, which you will see if you find something wrong. So I am going to open this. Well, 
here there are eight channels but uh, if any one of those goes bad what you can do is just put them onto the website at good one service right there and you can see this is the change but these three were for this value So on the left hand side there is a one this window kind of thing which needs to be opened to disconnect all the channels and power supply from the left side. This window is open and you can see here all the channels we are going to take out all this one by one and then to the channels from the front side. That rack, uh, that rack is uh, retractable, so pull, pulled outside. You can see it is out, and here all these connections are out. From the front side, now I'm going to take out those racks one by one. Now I'm disconnecting these network cables. All are marked, labeled very important to do that before taking out. card changed and all the defectives are on this side left side and good ones are on the right side I'm going to connect now all this now everything is back in place three defective cards on the left side five good cards are on the right side this unit changed and we are going to put this breaker on and see the results hopefully this will work now so finally after uh, putting these three defective out the network is also not connected and now this system is working fine no more alarms so this uh, replacement of this P PSU and putting these three out has solved the problem now there are no more alarms